So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to export your Twine stories so that you can, um, if you're a student, so that you can submit them to Canvas or wherever you're submitting your assignments, or if you're trying to publish your game online so that you can do that as well. And I'm going to show you one easy place where you can publish it online that's free, that you can have lots of people play your game. Um, I'm also going to show you how to import stories to Twine. So let's start off with uh, showing you how to export a story. So I have several stories that I've already made in Twine because I've been using Twine for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to export this one. So basically what you wanna do um, is once your story is done and it's in a state that you're ready to export it, you come back to this main Twine play page. Um, so this is not when you're in the story, this is when you click the home button and you're here in this main Twine page. You're gonna go to the little settings cob um, right next to your story, you're gonna click on it and you're gonna go down to publish to file. And what that's gonna do is that's going to make an HTML file of your story with all of the data that Twine needs to be able to uh, import it and play it. Um, and that is also gonna make it playable in a web browser. So I'm gonna click publish to file. And I'm gonna shorten this name just a little bit. Um, I've already, I have exported this file a couple different times and I've named it a couple different things just so I have backups of my story. So I'm gonna just name it um, like today's date. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then if I go um, and delete this, which is okay because I've already packed it up, if I go down to delete story, this is no longer in my library, I can go over on the right hand side and import it from file. So I click on that, then I go to choose file. This is the file that we just exported, so we know it's the exact same story. I'm going to click open it, and then it shows right back up in uh, my, my stories library. So you click on it. And it's exactly the same thing uh, that we just exported. So nothing has changed. If you click on it, everything is still the same. So that's awesome. So that's how to export and how to import stories in Twine. Next, I'm gonna show you um, how to publish your story on itch.io. So if you were going to submit this assignment, um, you could just email your professor the HTML file or you could submit it to Canvas, or if your university uses a different tool to be able to publish your assignments, um, you should be able to upload it just to that. Um, but if you're trying to publish this game online for other people to play, um, one place you can put it is on itch.io. So I've been using itch.io for a long time, I already have an account, but if you don't have an account, just go ahead and make one. Um, it works the same as it would for any normal website. And what you're going to want to do is uh, go to your dashboard once you have an account. So as you can see, I already have several games on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and make a new project just to show you what that process is going to be like. So if I scroll down to the bottom, and if you don't have a ton of games, you won't have to scroll very far, I'm gonna click on Create New Project. Okay, so you should see something like this. Um, once you click Create New Project, all of these obviously should be blank, but I've gone ahead and filled in some information just to expedite this process. But you can give your name a title, um, the project URL is going to be created from your title, um, but I've gone ahead and changed it and shortened it a little bit. Um, I've given my game a short description. I've uploaded a cover photo. This is all optional. Um, this is all basically just stuff to make your game look a little bit um, more appealing when people click on the page and decide if they want to play it or not. Um, you probably won't have one of these, but if you were in a situation where you had a game trailer or, or like video footage of, of people playing the game, then you could link to that here. Um, we are going to classify this as a game, it is a piece of software that you can play. When we exported our Twine project, it was exported as an HTML file, so make sure you go ahead and click on that. Um, I've marked this as a released project, it's no longer in development, it's done. I've marked it so that there are going to be no payments accepted, so if this is for a class assignment, obviously you wouldn't have people paying you to play your game, but if you were publishing a video game just on your own, maybe you would. So. I've gone ahead and uploaded the HTML file that we exported together, and I've said that this is a file that's going to be played in browser. So let me show you how to upload this. So basically, you just pick the file that we exported together, you upload it, and then the default is going to say that this is an executable game file, and it's going to ask which kind of computer or phone that you play it on. Um, that works for if you're making an app or you're making a video game with a software like Unity or Unreal Engine. Um, if that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry about it. But we've made a game that is an HTML file, this. So this game is going to be played in browser. So we don't have to worry about anyone downloading any apps. 
So I'm going to keep the dimensions um, on the default. I'm going to say that this is mobile friendly. People can play it on their phones. Um, I do want to enable a full screen button. I do want to enable scroll bars. Um, and then I've written just a short description uh, that's optional as well. You can tag what genre it is. Um, you, there's a whole bunch of settings that you can customize if you want. Um, and then, so what you're going to want to do if you're submitting this as an assignment, um, in the visibility and access section at the bottom of the page, um, when you're still working on the page, you're going to want to leave this in draft so that you can make changes um, and nobody's going to see it if you do something that you're not sure about. But then once you want to submit your assignment, you're either going to switch it to restricted, um, which is where you can just give your professor a link and a password to the page um, and then they can play it or to public so that anyone can play it. So I'm gonna leave it as draft for now, just to show you what this will look like. And I'm gonna click save. So then I'm gonna go to view the page and see what it looks like. So I've also gone ahead and adjusted the theme just a little bit. So when you go to, um, you click edit theme, um, you'll notice that you can change some of the colors around. Um, I'm gonna just make a couple of edits. This isn't gonna look super pretty, but just to show you like some of the stuff you can do. Um, you can change the color of links, et cetera. You can upload a, a banner and a background. Like there's a little bit of customization that you can do, but you really don't have to do any of this. This is just if you wanna make your page look a little bit more appealing. Um, and then basically, you know, color notwithstanding, your page should look something like this with your description down here um, and your window to run the game up here. So now if, if this wasn't in draft, if this was a published game, um, which you can toggle just by clicking here and it'll take you back to the edit game menu or you can click here and it's the same thing but if people could play this they would just click run game and your game would just load straight in their browser and because we've enabled sidebar and we've enabled full screen then your players can click full screen and just play your game so that is easy peasy and it runs just like it does when you're testing it out in twine um, it's like exactly the same and then to get out of it all you do is press escape.